an earthquake occurring in an area with a relatively large population and especially a population where there's quite a lot of vulnerability in terms of the building types to earthquake shaking and right? so uh, construction using you know unreinforced masonry the, the the kind of more rural styles that that sadly are, are not very strong when earthquakes hit um so you know we would have seen that also it's an earthquake that's relatively shallow in the depth of its source um so this means that it, uh, the earthquake waves have taken less distance to get to the surface. And so because of that, they have more energy within them, right? So, so a lot of things that add up towards making this such a disaster. One big thing as well is the fact that it occurred in the nighttime, past 11 p.m. local time, and people were at home, they were asleep, in buildings that would have been quite vulnerable to the shaking. And so a lot of people would have become trapped within the rubble. It is clearly... A difficult period, especially because at the moment people are, are trying to clear the rubbles. And of course, if there is a, a, a shock, then remaining the new buildings can collapse. So it is a real safety issue for the rescuers uh, in this period. And this is also why the advice is always not to go back in houses which have been weakened by, by the main shock because they may collapse during aftershocks. The effects of the earthquake continue though so there will be many people who've been made homeless who've been bereaved who've been affected badly by this and and, and that's going to continue over the winter so you know although the event happens the effects of it and the need for 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 help uh, actually extend over some months